hello and welcome guys so in this video i am going to tell you about pi installer what is pi installer why we use pi installer sometimes we face uh, many problems while converting our python file into a executable file so we will also solve those error in this video so let's get started first of all we will go through brief introduction of pi installer and then we will look hooks and hidden import in pi installer and then we will see how we fix fatal error in pi installer we will also do implementation of how to convert python file into a executable file so let's talk about pi installer pi installer bundles a python application and all its dependencies into a single package the user can run the packaged app without installing a python interpreter or any module basically pi installer convert your python program into a application which you can run without python interpreter or any module installed and command to install pi installer is simply pip install pi installer from command prompt and features some features of pi installer are that pi installer works uh, with any python version from 3.5 to 3.9 and some libraries supported in pi installer are like uh, some popular libraries like numpy pyqt5 pyscite2 django wx python matplotlib are fully supported without having to handle plugins or external data manually so these are some libraries which are fully supported by pi installer by default supported by pi installer without having any external plugins so let's talk about hooks and hidden import in pi installer so sometimes pi installer can't reliably find all needed files or may include too many files a hook can tell about additional source file or data files to import or files not to import so basically hooks is a feature of pi installer which tells pi installer which additional files we have to consider if we have made any program and uh, we also have some additional files like uh, we have created one gui application using python and uh, we have have some additional css file so to uh, so if we we want to convert that python uh, program into a executable program to tell py installer about that css file we have to additionally hook that css file so when the module that needs hidden import is useful only to your project store the file somewhere near your source file so we have to create the source file and our python file in the same folder and simply by typing py installer main.py double hyphen additional hyphen hooks hyphen dir directory is equal to my script.py you can write uh, here my script.css if your additional file is of css file then py installer will recognize your additional file by simply uh, with this one line of code and when your main.py is converted into main.exe then py installer will also recognize your uh, css file which you have uh, additionally added so in this example i have added my script.py as additional file so when i convert this main.py to main.exe then py installer will also recognize this my script.py as additional file so let's talk about hidden import sometimes py installer can't recognize some python library so to make py installer to identify them use this command sometimes what happen like as we seen previously that uh, by default python can recognize numpy pyqt5 pyscite2 but there is another library pandas data reader library which is not by default recognized by py installer 
so to tell py installer that we have used pandas data reader library in our code we have to use py installer and main.py is our our python file and dash dash hidden dash import hidden import is equal to pandas data reader so we have to add this to tell py installer that also import this this library you have one question that uh, sometimes we have to import more than one library so to import more than one library make this hidden import in in a list form now py installer can recognize pandas data reader as as by default it is not supported by py installer so by doing this by writing this command py installer can recognize or pandas data reader library so for unsupported library we can use this so that py installer can bundle it up so now i conclude with this before converting into .exe make sure you have all additional files attached as additional hook and if there is any hidden import then add it to by typing the following command as mentioned previously so by simply writing your command you will be able to convert your python file into a exe file for more about py installer check its documentation by going to this link which i have provided here is the py installer documentation you can read to know more about py installer so that's all the theory behind py installer now i will show you how we can use uh, hidden import feature and uh, additional hook feature to use uh, to convert our python file into a executable file so let's get started so let's start with practical implementation so in this video i am going to convert this python finance dot py file into python finance dot exe so before doing this let's open this file with idle so in this program i have imported pandas matplotlib date time and pandas data reader library so by default pandas matplotlib and date time is recognized by py installer but pandas underscore data reader is not recognized by py installer so if we perform simple conversion by writing our command py installer and then python finance dot py and then uh, if we press hit enter then we will see that we will get we will get many errors but uh, if we use py installer hidden import feature then we will successfully convert our python finance dot py file into exe file so before doing this i would like to show you some by default uh, libraries which are recognized by py installer and some hidden hooks so to see the all those libraries go to search bar and type py installer so this is py installer folder open this folder and in this folder you will see this this is hook folder loader library fake modules depend bootloader these all are folders so go to hook, hook folder and here you'll see that tk inter destutils django and these are files like matplotlib backend matplotlib kiwi numpy matplotlib pandas pyqt4 pyqt5 pyside scapy these all libraries are recognized by py installer by default so these so from here you see which libraries is by default recognized by py installer and which are not recognized by py installer basically during the conversion of python file into exe file py installer come into this folder and checks whether the import which we have done in program is present here or not and if if he find any file missing then he pops error and so our exe will not run 
so if there is any additional file additional import which we have done so we have to explicitly add that import in our command so let's go to our file so this is our python finance.py file which we would like to convert so open powershell by clicking shift and right click simultaneously and open powershell window here so, so this is the same location where our python finance.py file is so to convert our python finance.py file into exe file so before doing conversion we have to check whether we have any additional file or any additional import so here there is no additional file for this program but uh, there is one hidden import which is this library pandas data reader library which we have to explicitly add in our command so let's go to powershell and uh, type py installer python finance dot py and then type hidden double hyphen hidden hyphen import equal to in a string form type pandas underscore data reader string close before doing this uh, so if i press enter then our python finance.py file will convert into python finance.exe file but before doing this I would like to show you by default procedure which everyone can follow by just typing py, py installer python finance.py file and sometimes we type double dash one file this is all feature we use so if we press enter then see what happening what's happening So py installer is analyzing this python finance.py file and it converted one python finance.spec So here you see that it is looking for hook file So here you see it's popping error import tornado module not found no module tornado found so these are some modules which are not found and here you again see some error so here you see that py installer is looking all the hook module which by default present in py installer and comparing and some this process is taking place so this process is done so here you see that so you see there's error module not found no module win32 this module found these all error are due to our hidden import which we have not done so that's the reason we are facing this type of error like matplotlib backend error why we are uh, why we are uh, facing this error matplotlib backend error why because uh, pandas data reader is a li python library which because pandas data reader is a python library which extract data from yahoo api and uh, using this data matplotlib plot the graph but here matplotlib doesn't found any any data so it is popping matplotlib backend this type of runtime error web ag backend requires tornado and tornado is not found this type of error are taking that's the reason so to fix it we have to add that hidden import uh, of py installer data reader so before doing this delete all this file which which is created like python finance.spec file delete this file 
delete all this file. And let's reopen our PowerShell and type pi installer and python finance.py double dash hidden import equal to pandas underscore data reader pi installer python finance.py hidden import is equal to pandas underscore data reader and hit enter so again our process is started So here see that our process is completed and uh, there is one error win 32 error but this error is fixed and we will not get any issue in that so see uh, our process is complete so let's get to check our finance python finance.exe file so here two folder is created based and build and this is python finance dot spec which is created so our exe file is inside dist folder dist folder this is the main our main file which contain all the fi additional files and everything about that uh, exe file so these all are the files which are responsible to run this python finance.exe file so let's run python finance.exe file so here you see that it is asking to enter ticker symbol so i am entering tesla ticker symbol as tsla and uh, it recognizes and output is displayed with this graph So this is our output so this is uh, using pi installer we are able to create a software this is the software which you can use which you can transfer to your friends they can simply run this without using any python interpreter without using any python library they can simply run this but make sure that these all files are included so this is the small software which you have created using pi installer so you can transfer this folder to your friends and your friends can run this python finance.exe file by simply double clicking this without using any python without using any additional libraries they can access it and they can use this see it's working so guys if this is helpful for you then hit like and subscribe my channel for more update and also share to your friends thanks a lot thank you for watching this video